Hello. Another beautiful day. So uh, make the most of these beautiful days in Wales because it rains a lot here. So it's always uh, lovely when when the sun shines. Um, beach is nice as well. Almost looks like it's been groomed. All smooth, stones or pebble, although the uh, the rocks where I normally sit are, are covered, so it's obviously washed in uh, a lot of stones. There's a little bit of plastic rubbish up there. I'll clear that when I go. Um, <clears throat> so I thought uh, a lot of people, when I give them the, uh, the chart, and they say, oh, but I don't understand what it is. I don't understand what it means. Well, uh, obviously the book... Uh, the books sort of um, explain it further so it's really just showing how the, um, the gemstones in the new Jerusalem reveal um, the conscious healing process that, uh, that we as therapists use for turning a, a negative and hurtful traumatic event uh, into um, uh, th by moving through the grieving process to be able to, uh, to come to a resolve and able to let go. Now obviously God says it's better not to do or hurt another in the first place. It's better not to create that that pain. So really that's where we need to start. But right now we're living in a world where there's many, uh, there's much abuse, there's war, there's crime, there's um, many, many, many hurtful things being done to, to others. And this emotional impact uh, leaves trauma and those trauma create diseases and those need to be to be healed um, drugs aren't uh, always the answer and prevention is always better than cure in uh, in my opinion so um so when I studied the gemstones in the book of Revelation and studied scripture to understand what made Jesus the greatest healer of all time which he still is in my opinion and uh, to understand you know god's god's word for for healing um i i just you know i realized that the, the bible is all about teaching love it's all about um having a, a positive outcome um, and a good expectation uh, that psychological quality of faith um is is really the uh, the backbone of uh, creating um, positive thoughts and positive expectation and not being taken down by negativity. So uh, I also discovered and realized that love was always positive. It always had a positive outcome. And then it sort of clicked that uh, from Genesis um, 2.17 that uh, if you eat of the tree of the knowledge of good and bad then you will surely or positively die. So if you die to positivity, what do you become? You become negative. And negative um, produces fear and we go into the adrenaline and cortisol bloods when what we're wanting to attain to is endorphin blood. So um, so the, the chart that I got given, I would say, <laughs> by uh, by God through, through this work, many years of... Uh, of study and experience and challenges and opposition and um, and even the chart I'm not quite sure how I created it on my computer but I I did um, obviously with a little bit of divine help I think um, <clears throat> so yeah I've got it here today and so I've written out what the um, the overall qualities are I just wonder where to put it down there's lots of seaweed here to, this time of year there's a lot of seaweed oh we've got the sun reflecting in the um in the pool there um okay i'll come around here i think oh, yeah, i'll put it down there okay so yeah so so the revelation the holy city of new jerusalem so 12 squared is 144,000 thoughts Sealed for healing and creating love made positive and whole for the light of understanding love with reason for consciousness enlightenment of positive love for peace within and peace without for removing pain 
<clears throat> and a healing of all nations as promised. So reason, we can only access our, our reasoning part of our brain if we're not in stress, if we're in the, our parasympathetic nervous system and endorphin love. <clears throat> Otherwise we can't act reasonably. That's physiologically how we're made, and he's made us like that. So I shall prove to be what I prove to be, Exodus 3.14, which is love. God is love, 1 John 4.8. Let love conquer fear with God's love made whole in us. Fear and sin activate the autonomic nervous system stress response. Sin is anti to Christ's love. Love is not a cortisol, but the end, the natural endorphin release in us from loving <clears throat> the love of God. Um, in the Book of Life, obviously the Bible's a book of life, but I've written a book called The Book of Life where I explain that nervous system response in, in easy to understand uh, language. So we are changed just as in the twinkling of an eye. 1 Corinthians 15, 51, 52. So the um, autonomic nervous wreath is uh, visible at the centre of the eye. So uh, <clears throat> that, the nervous system changes is evident there. So the river of water of life, clear as crystal, trees of life producing twelve crops of fruit for the spirit to be made whole for a curing of the nations. Revelation 22. Yes, he is coming quickly. So come, Lord Jesus, come. Nation will not lift up sword against nation, neither will they learn more any war. Sorry, <laughs> learn war any more. Isaiah 2.4. Let thy kingdom come on earth as it is in heaven. <clears throat> From the Lord's Prayer. So, um, so that's um, all relating to um, our nervous system responses in our body and ultimately we have to attain to controlling those through, through um, a loving mindset in thoughts, words and deeds. Um, so how does it work? So if we look at this, we can see that truth is running right at the centre of everything. And so we all have truth. Ultimately, love is the truth. And fear is a lie because it's not, it's not predictable, it's not sustainable, it's volatile. But love is always dependable and it's always kind and all the things we know about it. Um, so ultimately to find that love, we have to find the truth of where something's gone against that love. And we have to face that hurt, that pain, that rejection, that betrayal, that hurt, whatever it might be. And we have to have a lot of courage to do that because it's very stressful, it's very fearful, it's very painful. But uh, it's well worth it and that's what the counselling process does. And we have to have faith, so we have to believe that we can attain to a good outcome of happiness. So, yeah, I've just put it aside here. We have to have the courage, one, to reject sin and to seek with faith happiness. Because it's quite funny, we seem to have a mechanism that stops us attaining to happiness as well. <laughs> I know certainly sometimes the things I really love to do, I... You know, I just don't do them when I, I should and I'm having to learn to to embrace um embrace that. Um so we have to have the courage to reject the sin and the faith to seek the happiness and that is when we find inner peace. And when we have inner peace then we have outer peace with others. And then we have wrestlings with what's good or bad or right or wrong or Haram or Halal. Um, and when things do go wrong, when there is something bad, then we have to find that forgiveness um, <clears throat> in order to get the um, positive reward. We have to actively listen to what a person is saying and feeling and respond to those feelings, even if... Um, Yes, 
somebody might trivialise them, then it's what's real for that person. And a feeling just needs to be heard and then it can move on. But if feelings aren't heard or expressed, then they just get louder and louder until, until they pop out in one way or another. Um, so we have to be adhere to, we have to stick to uh, the love of God and have loyalty and the love of others. Um, and then we get the positive endorphin reward, which is represented by the topaz there. Um, and the endorphins give tolerance and trust and allow us to find truth um, and process that truth. So love physiologically is not a cortisol, but an endorphin love attaining to bliss, rapture, Anandamide is a bliss molecule in us. God is love. So there's nothing added, nothing taken away, just translated into a visual of the universal language of consciousness of love made whole, holy, anointed for the fruits of the Spirit to become manifest. Namely, love, joy, faith, patience, kindness, goodness, mildness, self-control, not to sin, for Ephraim, twofold peace, Jerusalem, against such things there is no law. Galatians 5.22 The golden rule to love God, to love others as self. God is light and love and causes love to become whole in us. There is only oneness in love, the meaning of the names of God. Yahweh, Jehovah, Yeshua, Anointed One. Anointed one love, Jesus Christ manifested in us. Jesus said, by their fruits we will know them. The whole spirit of consciousness the apostles attained to. And during the arriving of the day of Pentecost, they were all together in the one place, the whole place of love. There is no division with God's love made whole in mind, body and spirit. The oneness and completeness of love, parousia, love's light revealed. The seven spirits of love, which I discern these from Revelation 2 and 3. Love, which always has a positive outcome. Faith, discernment, righteousness, consciousness, brotherly love for unity and communion with one love. There is only one. <clears throat> Amen, Amin, Shalom, Namaste. Peace to all nations. And uh, different... Um, Countries and cultures might use different names, but if the outcome is the spirit of peace, then they must have the spirit of love. Um, and this healing process is, is applicable to all human beings and even animals. Um, mammals especially have um, emotional connections. Um, and even though this week, our Prime Minister announced that animals do not have feelings. I'm quite astounded at that. Uh, and somehow I'm going to have to uh, find a way to let them know that they do. Um, that um, um, this processing and, uh, and love works for all. Oh, there we have one seagull, but there's a distinct lack of seagulls around at the moment. I put some uh, prawns out yesterday and normally my garden would be flocked, they'd be gone in a second. Not one has come. So I don't know why that might be. Uh, they've stopped dumping mud for temporarily. I hear they have to reapply for another licence. Um, so I'm not quite sure what the, the outcome of that is. But let's hope prayers are answered and um, that if there is any, any contamination that's dangerous in any way that it won't be continued. So <clears throat> I thank it for being stopped at the moment. Um, it's a beautiful day. Looks like we might have a few chemtrails there. Yeah, I haven't seen three aeroplanes fly over all together in the last few uh, moments. So let's see what will happen with that. Um, so yeah, just ask for Stop polluting our planet, let nature rebalance, let the planet rebalance. We plant more trees, use less chemicals, get back to natural and organic farming methods. Let the chickens out the cages, let the cows be in the fields. And uh, let's get some 
humanity back into to mankind and uh, quality of life and let the children interact and run free and play um, uh, and interact with with the natural life and, and the farming life um, and I think probably we'd find that many of the, uh, the modern childhood ailments like ADHD and various things um, will um, will probably disappear because <laughs> children need to move. None of us are designed to sit in offices and all day long and be cooped up away from nature. We're just imprisoning ourselves really. So we need to value our planet and environment a lot more. So I pray for this and uh, ask through Jesus' name, through the Holy Spirit anointed in us. That's what we're aiming for. That's what the rapture will be. That's where bliss comes from. And uh, thanks be to God. Amen.